What's up guys, Charlie here, your tech guy. So normally when I make videos, I'm trying to recommend something that would help you. Because I'm trying to help everybody out there dealing with techs. They might have a problem looking for a solution or they're trying to look at a product and they're not sure. I'm just trying to show you that this is the product I use for my purposes and I want to share my experience with you. With that being said, now this product I just cannot recommend. Okay, so what I have in my hand right here is an ethernet cable, but this is the flat kind, you know, the, that very thin kind that you see they sell in the store. So the problem I'm having with this one is, well, it's not working up to specs. And I discovered that after a while, not in the beginning, but like about two weeks ago, when my internet keeps dropping. I mean, it would just drop out, the router would lose connection, and I thought it was the motor. So I had Spectrum come over here, swap out the modem. I even purchased my own modem for them to swap out. That didn't solve the problem. Still dropping. So I couldn't figure out what was going on. So eventually I said, well, it must be the cable then. I had Spectrum coming over here and testing the line to see if there was any issue. And it wasn't. So then when I did a speed test, I wasn't getting close to what I should be getting because you know spectrum say you should be getting over a hundred megabits well I was always under on the speed test not deep under but somewhere between 70 and 80 it was never a hundred so what I discovered after I swap out these cables that was the problem so like I said I cannot recommend these flat cables especially if you're doing a lot of streaming like streaming movies or you're doing live streams or whatever so you remember in my previous video, I said I got three boxes and I got something in these boxes that I want to share. Well, it's no surprise. It's got to be related to what's in this video, right? Yes, it's cables. So after years of using regular cables, you know, the cables with little meat on them, you know, meat on the bone, I should say. I went with these flat cables because uh, I guess I just like the design of it. And I figure it shouldn't be no hiccups in it. You know, it's a Cat 6 cable. But then when I think about it, you know, this thin cable right here. And you got this thick cable right here. And most businesses and stuff like that don't use the thin cable. They use the thick one. So it's got to be something to say that, okay, well, why would this be so thick and this be so thin and you get the same performance? Can't be. Well, a cable like this is made up of many parts and it's got a shield on the inside to try to block out interference from the outside from getting into the data stream that's going across, you know, from your computer to the modem or the router or wherever. When you look at this one now, there's no way this can have the same kind of shielding to protect the data when it's traveling across the wire. Now, these still work, so I'm not saying that you can't use them. But if you're a casual computer user, you probably could get away with these. If you're a heavy user, you know, the kind of person that's streaming and uploading and doing all kinds of stuff, you might want to stick with these. Better performance. You're going to get something out of these, better performance. Now, as a guy in the computer field, I thought these would perform as much as these, but it was a test, honestly. I was trying to see what these could do compared to these because I had my doubts about them honestly when I first got it because I'm thinking to myself this wire is very thin. I mean where is the shielding? You know this has shielding built in on the inside to protect the data like I said while it's traveling across the stream from interference. And I didn't see these doing the same thing but it was a test. You know I had to take one for the team. So if you're looking to buy these cable be warned that they're not shielded as you think they would be and you're gonna have some data hiccups in your transmission all right so like I said all I had in these three boxes were cables and I wanted to show you that it's better to have these than having those thin cables if you're a heavy computer user. so the lesson for this video is if you're a heavy computer user, like I said, use these cables. 
But if you're not a heavy computer user and you just want to run some long cables without them being as thick and as presentable as these. And another thing too, these come in white. So if you paste them along the baseboard, they're hard to see and nobody will see them. But like I said, I wouldn't recommend these for heavy users because it's too thin and it's not shielded and everything gonna set it off. Who knows, the microwave, when you flip the light on, all that stuff. But get shielded cables, they're much better, all right? Okay, so that's gonna be it for this video. I hope it was helpful and educational and I hope you enjoyed it. And I wanna thank you for taking the time for watching it. Like, subscribe, share, and I'll see you in the next one.